Hey folks, this is Jadius. And this is Baeus. And we're in the Wood League, and so are you. Today we got a great game between Dabu, the Zerg, and Big Up, the Terran. Jadius, i got a quick question for you before we start. Shoot. What are you going to do on Tuesday if all telecommunications satellites are lost and destroyed? Well, yeah, I have heard that solar flares might be attacking Earth uh, pretty soon, as soon as, uh, as, uh, as Tuesday, and uh, I, I, I figured... Um, I would probably go down to the uh, the side of the the street, uh, find myself a refrigerator box, and kind of just kind of just live easy, kind of just live in that refrigerator <laughs> box. <laughs> oh, uh, I thought you were going to talk about the Steven Spielberg nuke defense. That of course, if you're inside a lead-lined refrigerator, you are immune to any nuclear explosion and or solar flare. Oh well, no, I'm I'm more or less assuming that I'm going to survive this solar flare. I didn't know it was dangerous oh. to humans, but if it is, then I'll probably just roast. Well, it definitely freaks me out, but apparently it's not treacherous to humans, but they just say that to, you know. <laughs> Anyways, here we go. We got a nice game going on here. We might as well, we might as well cast some StarCraft if all of our telecommunications and electronics are going to be wiped out on Tuesday. So here we go with that doom and gloom. Let's uh, let's check out what's going on here. It's a classic ZVT, which is Bayes and I and 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 my uh, favorite matchup. Uh, yeah, absolutely. I just cannot, as you know, I cannot beat Terran. Well, you know that, Jadius. But uh, let's see if Dabu can do it here without a, a six pool. That's how I beat Terran. If I'm up against a Terran, I go, well, time to six pool. <laughs> That's what I do every time. So it looks like Dabu's going for a bit of a slower pace game here. See if he can uh, take care of the Terran. It looks like a 13 pool from Dabu. Uh, it's going to arrive a little bit later than Big Up's barracks. Uh, of course, Big Up's. Uh, using a uh, uh, the classic Terran block, the barracks and, and the uh, and the sli supply depot, and he's going to use that uh, that initial SCV to scout after it's uh, completed the barracks. Big up actually went for a, a, a pretty fast gas, uh, but uh, so did the Zerg. So let's see, uh, maybe uh, maybe roaches on the way, maybe reapers. Let's see how the game plays out. Could be roaches, but I gotta assume he's going for banelings, as that's what you've recommended that I do in facing Terran, Absolutely. despite my. Constant complaining about not being able to beat them. <laughs> <laughs> Banelings uh, very, very popular in the ZVT matchup uh, right now. Uh, a lot of Terrans have uh, having a lot of trouble handling that those repeated waves of tiny little, tiny little bomblings. And uh, it looks like uh, the Zerg researching the uh, the Speedlings upgrade and oh, building yeah. a queen. Let's see what the, the Terrans got going, got cooking. He's got a marine, another SCV, and a quick factory pumping out right now. Uh, let's see the worker count for both of them. About tied, giving the slight edge to the Terrans for the mule. Yeah, and the mule will give a slight edge. But uh, no, no significant units as of right now. Of course, I so, Genius, who are these players? <laughs> I, I was about are to they say, aliases of other players? Like, I've never heard of them before. I was about to say, you, you pretty much read my mind. Um, this was a good, uh, on, all, on all accounts, by all accounts, this is a good game, but these are two... Uh, unknown players, as far as I I, I know, I've never heard Possible of them. Possible tournament contenders in the future, you think? Maybe, maybe we'll see from the play. Maybe we're just going to shoot them down. Maybe we're going to say that maybe these two players should just give up and play. Uh, play. Well, Hello checking their checking their APM, which of course we all know is the only true indicator of skill in StarCraft. They both have over 100 APM average, which is quite good, far better than myself being in the Wood League, and better than you as well. Uh, much, much, much better than me, but that's why we are in the Wood League. And of course, Dabu currently is over 200 APM. I should probably stop staring at the APM screen because it's just going to distract me for the rest of the game. <laughs> as you, as uh, of course, uh, you, you should know by now. Whatever Bayes says, uh, uh, apply uh, the, uh, you know, your 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 sarcasm goggles to it because, uh, <laughs> of course, Bayes does not believe that APM is is the true and, and, and singular test of, of skill. Or maybe he does. Bayes. Looks like Bayes. some Zerglings are showing up at the front door here, and they're going to be shooed away. By the Terran wall. Gonna go straight to the back door, which uh, which does catch uh, Terrans uh, off guard uh, more often than not, considering that they do uh, block up uh, one primary part of their base and aren't usually looking at the back door. But he's got a good supply depot here, giving him vision, and the Zerglings are gonna. Looks turn like Big Up run. can see the Zerglings, and he's going to take pot shots at them, forcing them to run away yet again. Oh, no, what does Dabu so. have? What is Dabu is going for? Wow, fast tech has an infestation pit. He might go straight to Hive, although he might be going for Infestors. We will see. He's a better player than I, I can almost assure you of that. 
Well, I can definitely assure you of that. <laughs> oh, and uh, big up pushing out here with a Viking, maybe for scouting, maybe uh, maybe uh, gonna gonna poach a few overlords, which is a, a very popular technique for Terrans. Uh, oh, Both of these players have high tech already. Um, big up has not many Marines, not many low tier units. He has one siege tank at the front of his base. Got a starport. Looks like he's just going straight to higher class units. Same with Dabu. He just built a few Zerglings to, I guess, scare the, tur the Terran into turtling real quick, and now he's gone straight up to an infestation pit. Yeah, speaking of, speaking of, uh, of tech, we've got Burrow researching, we've got three infestors on the way, and a Thor has just finished building for the Terran. And this Viking is going to harass these, in <coughs> these overlords, but now the infested Terrans are coming out. They're going to use their little infested machine guns to try to push this Viking away, but painfully Infested slow. Terrans being the slowest units in the entire game. Painfully slow infested Terrans are probably not going to be able to exert much authority on this Viking. Dabu moving his overlords back to the base, trying to keep them alive. For those of us that don't know, Baeus, you being the Zerg Master, pathogen glands, what are those? Pathogen glands? Oh, man. What are those? Are those the, uh... Being researched right now by the Zerg. I think that might be the faster overlords. Alright. Uh, I would have to see the picture. <laughs> oh, pathogen glands. No, that, you know what that is? That's the uh, increased starting energy for the, um, for the investors. So he's oh, investing okay. in investors at this time. He's getting those faster, faster investors that'll be ready to go straight out of the box. It looks like the Terran pushing out here with a double Thor medevac drop, possibly going to go in the back door, or possibly going to go to the Zerg's uh, first expansion. Terran hasn't expanded yet. Oh, uh, double Thor, uh, double tank drop, plus a Thor drop on the way here. But uh, a lot of Zerglings crawling around, speedlings in fact, for a Dabu, the Zerg, the, the pink Zerg. Tanks up on the high ground. He's going to see what he can do. He's got the vision from the Vikings. Here comes a Thor. He's going to push out. Of course, that's the collector's edition Thor that you see there. Nice little kind of uh, Gundam-esque wings on the Thor. Oh, oh, yeah. I've never seen the collector's edition before. There it is. So that's the reason to spend the extra 40 bucks. A lot of infested here. That's what that uh, Infestor energy was being used for, was being researched for, and uh, those drops are not going to work out. Managed to save one tank, but uh, definitely no uh, no significant damage done by the Terran there. Terran now I'm not sure what Dabu is doing with his Infestors here, but it looks to me like he might be able to lob some infested Terrans over the wall of Big Up. Absolutely. I think right now he's just biding his time. He feels he probably doesn't have enough infestors to really do significant, significant damage. Uh, two more on the way. The unit count now is five infestors plus two. That'll make seven infestors versus three tanks, a uh, couple of medevacs. But uh, it's pretty insignificant units when it comes to the infestors. The infestors are definitely holding all the power, all the cards right now. And the Zerg really winning on workers. Terran now preparing his uh, second expansion. He's going to try to catch up. But the Zerg's macro definitely, definitely pushing the Terran out. And the Infestors Here are on the Here come the Infestors. The they're going to walk across the map. Looks like they're not too slow off of creep. And they're just marching across here. This, this is going to be very interesting what Dabu does with this. Oh, boys. Burrowed Infestors. How often do you see that? We're getting a treat here, folks. Burrowed Infestors sneaking their way over to the Terran's base. The Terran has no idea what's going on. Yeah, Infestor's actually able to move while bur burrowed without any additional research required. So it looks like he's going to mount a surprise attack right at the front door of Big Up. Will Big Up detect them before it's too late? Oh, there, Don't think so. Here come the Infested Terrans being puked out over the wall. That is Look at that, they're puked terrans. out without even unburrowing. That is a lot of Infested Terrans. Very, Looks like very this wall tricky play. The Infestor is now allowed into the base. The Terran still has no idea how many here they are. These Infested Terrans are going to keep occupied while the Infestors sneak their way right into the mineral line. Now they're like going to lob some more. nice eggs right into the mineral line here. There we go. Oh, pukey, pukey balls. Oh, this, this is, is a very interesting game. <laughs> 
This is not working out. Very interesting strategy from from the Pink Zerg. Uh, Dabu. OMG elicited from Big Up. Twice now. What else can he say? Using the uh, SCVs to try to get at these infested turrets and, and, and doing it pretty the well. Standard sweep, now revealing the infestors. Where are the infestors killed? Looks like it. All but two of them were. Where are those infestors hiding? Right to the north of the command center. Oh yeah, I see them now. So the Terran manages to push out most of it, but does not know that two infestors are still lurking around. Without a scan, without anything to see invisible units, he'll have no idea that those are infestors are, are, are there. What is the Zerg's plan for those infestors? Oh, a couple of more pukes. They're going to take care of the last couple of, of SCVs and probably bring down this command center at the same time. No, but here come the aliens and a couple of tanks. This is definitely going to take care of these uh, infested Terrans and the infestors. We'll, uh, we'll, be, we'll be pleased to kind of turn tail and, uh, and sneak away underground to see what's going on here. Looks like Dabu is queuing up just tons of Zerglings right now. Looks like he's see got he's a scan. Go on the front of the base with Zerglings. Definitely has a scan ready. He's going to try to figure out where these burrowed units are. Of course, if you look carefully, you, you, you can see burrowed units. Uh, there are... Uh, Oh yeah, are there ripples in the ground or something yes, like there that? Yes, are, there are dark, dark ripples if you are looking out for it. You, yeah, have, to be, you have to be quick. But uh, Dabu has not spotted them, doesn't know where they are. He's trying some uh, some Viking harass to no, to, to no avail here. Many, many Zerglings on the field. Uh, 50 Queen Zerglings. Queen was able to turn those Vikings away. 50 Zerglings, 4 Infestors. Uh, to not much in terms of an answer from the Terran. Uh, and now Dabu is producing five Ultralisks. This could be very interesting. This is some very creative play from Dabu. And it looks like Big Up is far too tired to be playing. <laughs> and he's, he's no good right now. He's making excuses. Could well, be true. <laughs> noobs, tremendous noobs make excuses. That, that is how noobs uh, justify why they lost. But clearly... Um, this Terran was, was outplayed uh, here today, and we're, it's just a matter of time until the Zerg just rushes in with these Ultralists. I think these Ultralists are just a final, screw you, uh, I'm better than you. That's what Ultralists are basically used for, in my opinion. And look at them rumbling and bumbling yeah, through I, the map. You know, I've, I've, I've never found that Ultralists are actually practical in this game, and using them is just ridiculous. They're, they're very silly units, they're very big, they're too big to be useful. <laughs> But you know what? Some people use them well against Terran mech, so I guess against Thors or things like that, they can be used, but they just require expert positioning. I really don't think, with this final push coming up here from the Zerg, I really don't think that the Terran will be in a, in a position to push it back. His siege tanks will do their due, dil due diligence here. Uh, they're going to try... They're, they're, they're darndest to, to push them back, but uh, the units... Here comes a, a, a Ultralisks can take quite a few siege tank blasts. Here comes a cheeky Hellion drop to try to get you know, a little bit of dignity for his units. But these Four Hellions are just going to devour the queen them. is going to possibly destroy this medevac. And these Zerglings quickly running up on the Hellions, destroying them all. There is the GG from the Terran. He doesn't even want to see the onslaught that these Ultralisks would have wrought on his siege tanks. And uh, that's it for this game. Maybe If I were Dabu, I would have kept the game going and destroyed his base with Ultralisks. Because it's not often that you get to see Ultralisks in action destroying things like they love to do. That is true. In my experience, when the Ultralisks are out on the board that way, the GG comes before they actually have any effect. Uh, these Ultralisks used as an exclamation point to this Zerg's uh, creative play. And uh, that's it for this game. Thanks for tuning in uh, from, uh, from, from myself, Jadius, Baeus, and uh, the Wood League. We'll see you next time.